Warning, the content of the video that you are about to watch pertains to the harvest of fur-bearing wildlife through the practice of ethical, sound wildlife management of modern-day trapping. If this bothers you, if it triggers you in any way, shape, or form, please leave this channel now. Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. Guys, there's a coon down in there, or else old Timber wouldn't be down in there doing her thing. And there goes my buddy Mike, trapping partner extraordinaire, wallering off down in there into the middle of it all. So anyway, we're starting the morning off right. We can take care of and get on our way. All right, guys, there's a pretty good coon. We had a we had a good coon here yesterday too, and there's one there in the 220 con bear. This is a trail coming up out of a timber ditch and going across over to another one. So uh, anyway, we get him out of there, get the set remade, and get on with it. All right, gang, there's another one down there in the, in the DP and the timber doing her thing. Mike's headed off down in there to get this one. Why do I always get that I, shit in <laughs> I know. Anyway, we're going to get him took care of and get on our way here. All right, guys, there's another one here. Uh, had a good coon here yesterday. Mike tried to tell me it was a dink, but we got up here and it was a pretty good one. I saw just a little light faint trail there the other day when we set this coming right around the edge of that grass right there. So anyway, there's number two out of this trail, so we're getting took care and get on with it. All right, gang, we had three tied up here yesterday, but today we've just got the one, and boy, it's a dandy too. Timber down there telling on it. We just had a fracas back up the road there. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get this one took care of and get on our way. All right, guys. There's a pretty good coon there and a fish steak. Um, they keep moving me around, though, and I'm going to end up running out of water here. I had a coon here yesterday, and now I'm going to get another one here today. So anyway, we'll get him took care of and get set put back in and get on our way. All right, gang, there's one tied up in number 11 in the dry trail. Uh, just coming out of this patch of timber behind or in front of us. And going to a pick corn field behind us. We're on to the next ones, boys. All right, guys, there's one tied up in a foothold in this dry trail coming across cow pasture going to a, just another road up CRP field. So Anyway, we'll uh, get him took care of here and get on our way. All right, guys, we had one here yesterday in the dog proof as well. <laughs> Watch what you're doing. Anyway, old crawdad pond here and, and cow pasture behind us, so we better get down there and get him taken care of. Boy, he is a mud ball, so on our way here. All right, guys, I had a big coon here yesterday. Looks like I got a pretty good one here again today. Uh, set this because I kept thinking cat. I mean... Big dozer pile there in that ditch. Big creek bottom down below there coming up here to a standing cornfield. And I just, I still think I'm going to take a cat off of it eventually. It's just got to get the coon out of the way first. Anyway, we'll get it reset here and get on our way. All right, guys. It ain't been jumping in the truck today. They just kind of been a coming. But we got that front coming. We got a front coming, though. They're talking rain, not tonight, but tomorrow. So maybe they'll move tonight ahead of it. Who knows? I, they may have laid up last night. But anyway, there's one there in the 220 just coming from the timber behind us and going out to this standing cornfield. It's just been kind of, eh, it's just a day, you know. Nothing really, uh, nothing outstanding, that's for sure. Nah, been working on some new baits for dog proofs. That one there persimmon flavored this one in this bucket here is catfish flavored and then we're working on one that's shrimp as well uh so i mean they've been working really well for us uh had another bait that i brewed up a year ago and we tried it and it was lackluster to say the least i mean it wasn't that great so anyway we're trying something new and it seems to be working for us Mike slapping that 220 back in on his trail, and we're going to get on down the road to the next ones. All right, guys, there's one there in the 220. This little trail here, most years now, it's kind of been disappointing this year, but most years this thing just clicks right along all the time. 
Just kind of a little deal here is coming underneath this cedar tree, going to a pond down here behind us. Uh, about all you can really say about it, but it's it's here every year and it's usually always good for us. Guys, there is a giant <laughs> oak coon right there. Dog proof here. Timber's going stupid. I can't let her out because we're right here on the main highway, but that is a big, big coon for this part of the country. We don't get 40 pounders here. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. I think we ended up with 14 coon today and five muskrats. It wasn't a real great day for us, but you know, it's the way it is. You take the good with the bad. Anyway, I wanna thank y'all for tuning in and watching. If you would, please just hit that thumbs up for me. That's all I'm asking. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.